The Rapture of the Church The word rapture is not in the Bible, but the concept certainly is. The two proof texts for the rapture or catching away are as follows. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 14 to 18, KJV, 4 If we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 51 to 57, KJV, Behold, I shew you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So, when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The rapture is a threefold event. The dead in Christ are resurrected. They receive new glorified bodies fit for eternity. The living saints in Christ instantly receive their glorified bodies also. Both groups are caught up into the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus Christ in the air. We are then taken to heaven. What is a glorified body? Philippians 3 verses 20 to 21, KJV, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Our new glorified body will be similar to Jesus' glorious body. His post-resurrection body was flesh and bones, no blood, Luke 24 verse 39. Just as Jesus' glorious resurrection body was fit for eternity, so also our glorious new body. Did Jesus mention the rapture? Some say that Jesus taught the rapture in the following verses. John 14 verses 2 to 3, KJV in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. That passage is a reference to the kingdom promised to Israel. Jesus is talking to his disciples who are disciples to Israel. When Jesus returns at his second coming, his holy angels will gather the remnant of believing Israel, Matthew 24 verse 31. They are brought back to the land of Israel's to enter the kingdom. Matthew 24 verse 31, KJV, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Matthew 24 verses 40 to 41, KJV, Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken, and the other left. The one taken is taken at the second coming of Jesus Christ to await judgment. The one left enters the millennial kingdom. Neither of those passages refers to the rapture. The rapture doctrine was revealed to the world by the Apostle Paul. Why is the rapture necessary? 
to end the dispensation of grace and return to the law of Moses. Grace and law cannot be concurrent. God needs the rapture to close the church age in which we now live, the dispensation of grace. Then God turns attention back to Israel under the law of Moses to fulfill end-time prophecies. To preach the gospel of the kingdom again in all the world. In order for the gospel of the kingdom to be preached once again during the seven-year tribulation, the gospel of grace in Christ must come to a close. The preaching of the gospel of grace will end at the rapture prior to the tribulation. Then the gospel of the kingdom can again be preached. Matthew 24 verse 14, KJV, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. To commence the seven-year tribulation for Israel. The tribulation is a seven-year period dealing specifically with the Jew and Jerusalem, Daniel 9 verse 24. It's the time of Israel's trouble, not the church, Jeremiah 30 verse 7. The tribulation cannot begin until the restrainer is taken out of the way. 2 Thessalonians 2 verses 7 to 8, KJV, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let, restrain, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. To pour out the wrath of God and the Lamb. The church will not be subject to God's wrath, Rom 5 colon 9, 1 Thess 5 colon 9. We are raptured prior to the start of the seven-year tribulation. A pre-tribulation rapture is the only paradigm consistent with end times prophecy. The Marriage of the Lamb The church must be removed before Israel can be restored back to God as his wife. Isaiah 54 verse 5, KJV, For thy Maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy Redeemer the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth shall he be called. The rapture will accomplish the following. It will close the present dispensation of grace. After which, God can bring the seven-year tribulation concerning the Jew and Jerusalem, Daniel 9 verse 24. Daniel 9 verse 24, KJV, Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. The rapture will close the gospel of grace so the gospel of the kingdom can once again be preached in all the world, Matthew 24 verse 14. Matthew 24 verse 14, KJV, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. It will remove the church so God's wrath can begin as defined in Revelation chapter 6, the seven seal judgments. Lastly, the rapture closes the dispensation of grace after which God returns to dealing with Israel under the law of Moses. Then, Jesus establishes the millennial kingdom, after the time of Jacob's trouble, seven-year tribulation. Ephesians 4 verse 30, KJV, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Romans 8 verse 23, KJV, And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves waiting for the adoption, to wit, the redemption of our body. Titus 2 verse 13, KJV, looking for that blessed hope, and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ.